myself Sri Lanka. Today I will discuss about uh, management of stored grain pest. So topic is management of stored grain pest. So first we have two managements. One is prophylactic measures and another one is curative measures. So first I will discuss about prophylactic measures. So here first uh, if there is any mature crop we should spray the uh, particular pesticides which are safer to the plants. Okay. So we can spray malathion before storing the grains because uh, they carry the eggs to storage. So that's why to avoid this carrying of eggs to storage, first we should spray malathion. Next thing, second thing, the next important point is threshing. So we will, de we will do threshing after harvesting. So in that area, threshing floor should be neat. Neat and without any infestation without any infestation and it should be clean it should be clean okay and uh, next thing gunny bags after threshing we will fill the seed or grains into gunny bags so these gunny bags should free from any pest free from pest eggs gunny or otherwise whatever pupas so it should be free from the pest it should be clean and neat and next thing so before filling we should observe moisture percentage of the grains moisture percentage of the grains it should be less than 10 percent okay it should be less than 10 percent if it is more than 10 percent there is an attack of a stored grain pest in future so that's why we should observe before filling the bags the next thing, uh, go downs. So where we store the bags, that is nothing but go down. So go down should clean. We should check the cracks, crevices present in the go down. Okay, and we should fill that uh, cracks. Okay, with white wash with whitewash and the go downs should moisture free moisture free and rat proof go downs are suitable rat proof go downs you should select rat proof go downs because there is a damage of rodents also so that's why we should select the moisture free and rat proof go down and we can uh, spray the walls with uh, malathion 50% EC in 1 inch to 100 ratio. Here for 1 litre, 100 litres of water. So we can use our DDVP also, we can use 100 EC. Okay. So before going to uh, keeping the bags inside, we should spray the walls with this chemical to avoid any pest eggs or any pupas okay so then next leaving alleyways maintaining proper uh, space between the uh, stalks okay that are called alleyways and the space between uh, uh, row to row is 0 0.75 to 1 meter distance all around the uh, bags okay so this is uh, useful for uh, easy uh, sprayings aeration inspection okay or spraying alleyways with chemical spraying alleyways with chemicals so that is uh, we can use malathion or DDVP. If malathion 
one is two hundred ratio. If DDP, this one is to three hundred ratio, and this one liter per two seventy meter cube area. Okay, and next. We can also spray the malatia on DDVP same uh, recommendations on the stocks on stocks means on bags okay same uh, malatia on as well as DDVP here it is uh, this recommendation is similar for both okay but do not spray. Directly on grains, food grains or grains or seeds. So do not spray directly on the grains. Okay, uh, this is normally if we store grains at home in small scale. In small scale, if we use that seed for seed purpose. Seed purpose means for next sowing purpose, we can uh, add one kg of uh, activated kaolinic clay, kaolinic clay, or otherwise we can also use malathion also 5D malathion 5D for every 100 kg of seed. Okay, activated kaolinic clay mix with the seed and. Uh, with or otherwise we can also use malathion if we uh, store for grain purpose uh, with, uh, means grain purpose means for our consumption purpose use uh, 1 kg clay that activated uh, kaolinic clay for every 100 kg of seed okay and uh, if there is any pulse crops okay Use 1 kg edible oil. Edible oil for every 100 kg of seed. Okay. And uh, another method uh, is uh, using or uh, adding neem kernel extract. Okay. Neem seed kernel extract. Seed kernel extract or neem leaf powder. 1 kg powder for 100 kg of seed okay and don't use synthetic chemicals synthetic chemicals which are legally offensive legally offensive we will discuss about curative measures here mainly curative measure means fumigants we use fumigants and we use fumigants and we make fumigation in the stored room and we kill the pest okay so here fumigation fumigation means process of using or releasing chemicals in the form of fumes in form of fumes okay in airtight chambers airtight chambers this is called as fumigation okay so we have three types of fumigations one is shed fumigation and uh, second one is cover fumigation and third one is fumigation in airtight chamber with the fumigants egg type chamber with fumigants okay so mainly we use fumigator or uh, mainly we use a uh, uh, fumigation tablet aluminium phosphide here for cover fumigation we use 3 grams 3 tablets okay 3 tablets each 3 grams per tons of bags okay and in, in case of uh, this cover fumigation we should cover or plaster the cracks with mud to avoid escaping of the air 
okay to avoid escape of the air next thing in shed fumigation we use 21 tablets okay 21 tablets which are 3 grams each and for 28 meter cube area okay this is important objective okay for shed fumigation how many tablets under so 21 tablets okay each 3 grams weight okay then so we should keep that aluminium phosphide tablets between the bags between the bags or above the bags below the bags okay we should place them and we should cover with mud we should uh, cover with uh, tarpaulin tarpaulin sheet or any plastic uh, sheet and then if there is any cracks we should cover that cracks with the mud cover that cracks with mud then we should kept it for 5 to 7 days okay fumigation period is 5 to 7 days Okay, after 5 to 7 days of the fumigation, we should uh, remove the cover from one corner, from one corner and uh, allow the residual air to escape outside, residual air to escape outside. Okay, and aerate the stalks. So 5 to 7 days is enough. Okay. They need the stocks. So this is about cover fumigation. So same similar practices for leak proof conditions. Same practices for leak proof conditions in shared fumigation or airtight chambers that we call as a fumigatorium. So in shared or airtight chambers. Okay, we can follow these uh, methods to avoid leaking of the gases to outside. And then uh, we should take utmost care while using these uh, uh, aluminium phosphide tablets because it releases phosphine gas. Okay, phosphine gas. And mainly we should purchase only 3 grams tablets which are uh, uh, selling by government agencies only. Okay, government agencies. And uh, before using the tablets, we should follow the specifications. Uh, in case of mechanical control, so this is about uh, fumigation, and the curative. Just then, in case of mechanical control, we can use uh, light wraps, light wraps for the control of lasioderma, lasio. Dharma. For monitoring as well as mass trapping, we use light traps. Okay. So, or otherwise, we can also use centrifugal force. So, we should uh, keep the grains in the centrifugal and uh, speed 1000 to 3000 rate per uh, revolutions per minute so then we collect the eggs or uh, pupas whatever the insects and we can also use endoliter endoliter okay and another important thing we should remember that these fumigates have no residual effects done this fumigation periodically so fumigation should done periodically when we required because they don't have any residual effect and they do not show any effect on a new stock or new storage bag so that's why we should spray or we should fumigate the bags periodically when required okay so this is overall about uh, management practices so here in these uh, management practices i said uh, uh, two methods 
prophylactic measures and the curative measures and in prophylactic measures we should uh, clean the bags we should clean the transportation uh, vehicle also we should clean because that is also one of the cause one of the reason to spread the diseases and pests okay from one pill pill to another pill or from pill to storage and in curative measures mainly we learned about the fumigation shed fumigation cover fumigation and uh, air, air tight fumigation so here the main important uh, points are uh, how many tablets we used for uh, cover fumigation so shed fumigation so in cover fumigation we use 3 grams tablets uh, 3 tablets and uh, in uh, shed fumigation we use 21 tablets for 28 meter cube area and uh, 3 grams each okay and uh, next thing here what is the uh, main uh, gas released from aluminium uh, phosphide means uh, it is a phosphine gas okay actually it is a phosphine gas it is a very dangerous gas so we should uh, take care while using these uh, tablets okay this is overall about management of storage and waste if you like this video please share this video to your friends and please do like share and subscribe